day, beautiful people. Greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. End of week, a weekend lying ahead, and we continue with our topic on spiritual battles, the weapons we have, based on Daniel 10. Uh, like I do in all the videos, a quick recap. So focus on the words given, stand your ground, don't be afraid, humble yourself before God. Uh, let your lips be touched. Stand firm and be strong and wisdom will be given. Now, a little bit of a practical exercise yesterday for myself uh, and during the night. Um, I love it when God talks to me, when he speaks to me, when he confirms. Um, something that I always do is I pray for discernment. Discernment of spirits in people. Discernment of a spirit around me. Because this is a spiritual battle. And what I need to do and how I need to do it. And that is the wisdom that will be given. And God focused my attention. I mentioned yesterday as well. That's how it started, Psalm 62. And then during the night, uh, actually the late evening, uh, 1 Kings chapter 20. Go read the whole chapter to get the understanding and the concept. A few verses out of it that I want to just touch quickly so first kings 20 verse 11 for example let not him that girdeth on his harness boost himself as he that put it it off hmm? verse 13 thus saith the lord i will deliver it into thine hand this day and thou shalt know that i am the lord verse 22 go strengthen thyself and mark and see what thou doest for at the return of this year, something will happen. Hmm. So God is talking and something is happening. And that is the practical side of spiritual battles. Verse 28, thus saith the Lord, the Lord is God of the hills, but he is not God of the valleys. Therefore will I deliver all this great multitude into thine hand, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Our battle God fights the battle for us and he gives us the wisdom, he leads us, he talks to us, he confirms. So ask God, give me the wisdom I need to act accordingly, according to his will and according to his word, not from your own flesh and your own desires, because that is going to be disastrous. But focus on what God is giving you through his word and through the Holy Spirit. Let you be guided. That's important. Understand what is going on. Um, for those who know me, I always use the same movements, and that is listen, be still, so that you can hear the Holy Spirit. Understand what's going on, understand the Word of God and how the Holy Spirit works, and accept, act, do. You need to do something. And that is what we ask in our spiritual battle. We have all these weapons, all these practical things. Um, and the, if you just go Google, have a look, um, just Google uh, spiritual battle and see how many results you get. And that's just online. Think about the thousands and thousands of book and books and literature and information there is. We have one truth and the truth is the Holy Spirit. But you need to know. So ask God for the wisdom and he will give you the wisdom so that you can act and do what you need to do to fight this battle. Have your victory. Stand tall. Stand firm. And it's going to be great. And I love it. I love God. I bless you. I bless your weekend. Um, may the light of our Most High through Jesus Christ shine in you and shine through so that the world can see what and who we are in his holy and wonderful name. Amen.